All right, fam. So this one, this one has been recommended a few times. So without further ado. <laughs> Thank you for coming in today. Thanks for okay, seeing why are we Looking seeing at your words? file here. Why are we seeing words? I know you guys don't like the words. Although, let me ask that question. Maybe I'd like the words. <laughs> then I don't have to sing them, you know. But anyway, um, I've heard you don't like the words. So we're going to leave the words off. If somebody says, hey, man, I actually like the words in these reaction videos. Please let me know in the comments below. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. I really like how this thing starts off. <laughs> because that's how caveman gets when I get fired up about something. You know, you're sitting on your cell phone at that red light. And I'm four cars back and no one's honking. <laughs> Caveman's doing that back there. <laughs> Seeing me. Looking at your file here, it seems there's a very apparent interplay with your emotional state and your physical body. Have you ever heard of the trauma response? I don't think so. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Our subconscious can repeat patterns from the past, which can have a pretty drastic downstream effect on our biology. Essentially, your mind is making you Wow. Okay, so this is right off the cuff here. I'm taking from some of the music I've heard, he's basically had a problem with mental illness, I think. Um, all the medication, and, and, the, and this, is the, this is the problem. I mean, they don't treat you to cure you. They try to just have you feel better. But to come back, you always need to come back. And that's really what a shame the whole uh, the medical system is really like. It's just a shame. There's not enough motivation to actually cure someone. And I think that's, that's it's terrible. And for somebody in Ren's situation, and I don't really know a situation like how, how out there is it, how, how, um, I mean, it seems to be a big part in some of these songs. Sick boy, sick boy, bitten by a tick boy, looking for that fix. Did you say bitten by a tick boy? Is that what that was? Sick boy, sick boy, bitten by a, t a tink. Let's hear that again. Sick boy, sick boy, bitten by a tink boy, looking for that fix boy. And the I gotta see the words. I gotta know that it sounded like, it seems like tick, but it sounded like tink. Ren, sick boy lyrics. Hi, Ren. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you for seeing me. Looking at your file here, it seems that there's a very apparent interplay with your emotional state and your physical body. Have you ever heard of trauma response? I don't think so, he says. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Boy, can they, man. <clears throat> our subconscious can repeat patterns from the past. Generational curses? Sounds about right, too, which can have a pretty drastic effect in our biology. Essentially, your mind is making you sick. Your mind is making you sick, right? <laughs> that comes with one of these, doesn't it? Um, that didn't do it justice. <laughs> How about one of these? Um, uh, let's see, where was I at? <clears throat> Essentially, your mind is making you sick. Okay, sick boy, sick boy, bitten by a tick boy. So it's not tink. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Um, let, me just, let me just read some of this verse ahead so the old caveman doesn't have to come back. 
So we got sick boy, sick boy, bitten by a tick boy, looking for that fix boy, anabolic steroids, stem cell poster boy, pass out, white noise, quick fix, snake oil, I'm about to break boy. Damn, dude, the lyrics are fire. Oh, what a shame. He's in pain. Have another go. Take another pill. Here, take a couple more. Let's see how you're doing in another week or so. You'll be feeling worse than the side effects will show. Oh my God. Dude, those lyrics are so good. What? What? Let me just read the next one. No, let me hear this one. Dude, I'm blown away by that. Let's... Okay, so I gotta go back a tad bit, don't I? Sick boy, sick boy, bitten by a tick boy, looking for that fix boy, anabolic steroids, them cell, poster boy, pass out, white noise, quick fix, snake oil, I'm about to break boy. Oh, what a shame, he's in pain, have another go, take another pill, here, take a couple more. Let's see how you're doing in another week or so You'll be feeling worse when the side effects will show Derealization, medical patient Losing patience with the process Walking hand in hand with Satan Complications with the medication Inflammation, dehydration, inhalation Aggravation, building up a toleration Drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown mm. Dude, okay, I'm going, I'm going to check out those verse deeper Derealization, medical patient Losing patience with the process Walking hand in hand with Satan you know, some of those drugs, which one am I thinking of? They give it to you to sleep. Uh, man, I had one. Gave you some of the most crazy, crazy dreams. Dude, I ate pot brownies one time. Blew my mind. I had a demon lady. She was hot, but a demon at the same time. Kind of like a hot zombie. And I was with Miss, Miss Realistic at the time. We were dating. But this, this hot demon was like sitting on my stomach. I don't know, maybe sitting on my knees. And she would smack me right cheek, left cheek, right, down my chest, down my chest, all the way I feel, I feel the sensation down my whole body to my feet and then start up my head again. Hard slaps. I couldn't tell her. I could not tell her. I could not ask for help. I could not ask for comfort because I knew that she didn't like it. <laughs> and it stressed her out. So... <laughs> It's a scary place to be. When they say take one quarter of the brownie, listen to them. <laughs> See, I'm a brownie eater. That's my deal. Okay, then the, the next part. Complications with the medications. Inflammation, dehydration, inhalation, aggravation. Building up a tolerance. Drown sucker, drown sucker, drown sucker, drown. Wow. Dude. Absolutely amazing. Lyrically, lyrically, uh, as, even as of right now, first time listening, I think this song might be my favorite. Might be my favorite. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, let's go. Let me go back a tad. That's walking hand in hand with Satan. Complications with the medication. Inflammation, dehydration, inhalation, aggravation. Building up a toleration. Drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown. I've been feeling like I'm drowning with my feet up on the ground. I've been screaming, I've been shouting, but I never make a sound. I've been looking for a way out, but I always seem to drown. Is this all making sense, Ren? Um, yeah, I think so. Good. What I propose we do is we try to pinpoint Ooh. the exact experiences from the past that are keeping you stuck. What can you tell me? Dude, that imagery with the pig head on this person, it's like the, it's like, I can remember, this is kind of, this is years ago, this is like way back out in Cali, I have a, a Palm Pre, I'm an Android guy, I, I don't know, I heard that men that use Apple phones pee sitting down, I heard that about Miller Light drinkers, but maybe that's Bud Light. Mm, I, I get it confused. Anyway, maybe none of that makes sense at all. <laughs> maybe the fucking game man just joking. All right. Somebody's going to be triggered by that. Um, anyhow, I remember using a Palm Pre and then, you know, I'm doing my truther thing back in the day. Listening to my Alex Jones, you know. I just heard about the atrazine in the water. I heard someone mainstream talking about that. And the frogs turning gay. I remember Alex Jones saying that like 30 freaking years ago. That's right. 
30 years ago. But anyway, I'm watching a video and I could see like, let's just say Nancy Pelosi's face. And it, it was probably a bad internet signal. But you know, like if you smoked a little bit <laughs> and you see that signal get confused and you see that face warp and then under the influence of a little bit of that green grass um i saw demons in that stuff man and it was like you know how sometimes you ever look at a photo and you see, you think it moves like oh it's a gif but it's not a gif you just saw it okay maybe that's just a caveman's head but anyway let me go back to you to drown is this all making sense Ren? um yeah i think so good what I propose we do is we try to pinpoint the exact experiences from the past that are keeping you stuck. What can you tell me about your childhood? I can't really think. It's okay if nothing comes up right away. What I'd like you to do is take some deep breaths with me. In and out. In and out. Good. Now tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. I feel like it's not me. It's the world that's it. We're given everything we need and we commoditize it. We consume, we destroy like we're parasitic. Science tells us that it's suicide and still we come in. I'm not sick. We are sick. We are standing on a cliff in the name of progress. We jump off the precipice. I'm not sick. I'm the virus. You're the virus hypocrite. How can you sit there with a smile on and tell me that I'm sick? Sick boy, sick boy, looking for a fix boy. All right, dude, those lyrics need to be read. I feel like it's not me. It's the world that's sick. We're given everything we need, and we commoditize it. We consume, we destroy like we're parasitic. Science tells us that it's suicide, and still we commit. I'm not sick. We're sick. We're standing on a cliff. In the name of progress, we jump off the precipice. I'm not sick. I'm the virus. You're the virus hypocrite. Damn. Damn. How can you sit there with that smile on and tell me that I'm sick? Woo. Fire, dude. That's that's fire. Like that's fire. That that's the lyrics in this song are special. Straight up. Push it down in public quick pose for the big back back. Virus, you're the virus hypocrite. How can you sit there with that smile on and tell me that I'm sick? Sick boy, sick boy, looking for a fix, boy. Push it down in public quick pose for the big boy. Record label meetings that come on the fire your gift, boy. Why are you so upset? Don't you wanna be a rich boy? Fuck no, industry is cutthroat. Yeah, I really love how he puts the pig mask on the people. You know, because it's like at a certain point your own consciousness reveals to you the scam artists and the liars and the things like that. And maybe you see it or you sense it or whatever, but seeing it in the video like that is powerful, real powerful. That don't you wanna be a rich boy? Fuck no, industry is cutthroat. I've been doing bits by myself, swimming backstroke, walking on a tightrope, rapping with a slit throat. The way that we persist is like the ending of a bad joke. And the, the, the big takeaway is, the big takeaway is it's all fake. It's all fake. Just like the fake news. Just like everything reported in the mainstream is the fake news. But the bigger secret is, is it's all fake. It's all coming from here. All of it's coming from here. We're creating it all. You know, you get the government you deserve by the way you act. Act better. Clean it up, you know, set your eyes <laughs> on something more valuable and don't be like the pig and wallow around in the mud. Because let's face it, when no one's looking, that's what most of us are doing. You know, whether it's overeating or it's abuse of pornography or drugs or alcohol or, you know, just being a dick to people, you know, it's like it's like that that sign that. The lawn guy gives you that, you know, a green environment starts in your own front yard, dog. But you know what? There's no bigger truth than that. Anyway, I love this song. 
I'm going to say right now, this is my favorite Ren song so far. Lyrically, that thing was banging, and it has such a great message. My wife and I really live like that. Um, yesterday, I'm riding, I normally ride big 29-inch uh, BMX SE bikes, right? Big fat tires. And I learned to ride a wheelie. I started the day I turned, um, no, I was 50 on Christmas Day. This is realistic, got me one of those bikes. And on Christmas Day, I tried to ride a wheelie. On Christmas Day, I flipped said wheelie. My feet, my brand new Vans hung up on the pedals. I couldn't get my feet off. And I, I went straight onto my back on the concrete going way too fast. Well, fast forward two and a half years, I learned how to ride wheelies. I could ride them around a football field, no problem. I'm really good at it. I haven't crashed in two and a half years. Um, on Halloween, Halloween, what? On the on the the firework night that happened on, it was the first. I was riding a wheelie in the grass, showing off in the park. Right, dude. I looped one out. Boom! Bent my right knee back. Landed straight on my back on top of my my Glock. You know. And, and uh, you know, got up okay. My knees kind of hurt. But then last night, because I don't want to do wheelies, I don't want to be put in a position to do wheelies again because my knee's already strained, I take out my big cruiser. And I got, like, kind of a stretched cruiser bike with these four-inch tires, you know, real wide but low-pro tires. It's got ape hangers on it. And, you know, I'm cruising down. And all of a sudden, I'm like, dude, I wonder if I can – it has three speeds. And I'm like, I wonder if I can pop a wheelie up. In, in the second speed, the second gear. And so I shifted in. This has coaster brake, no handbrakes. And I did it. And it was quite easy. And it was going so good and so long. But with the ape hangers, I'm going faster and faster and faster. And then it got eerie. And then I approached a bridge. And I kept going. I, I went for it. <laughs> 53, I'm the guy that always goes for it. And uh, then it got eerie. I heard silence. And boom, dude, I'm going back. My mind isn't fast enough to apply the coaster brake, you know, pedal backwards. And I lose it. I get both feet on the ground, so my feet come off the pedals. But I'm going fast. I'm probably going to say I'm going 16, 18 miles an hour. Like, pretty cooking. And uh, the momentum of going forward is so much that as soon as my feet hit, boom, I'm drug out like that so as i'm up i put my feet down and the handlebars are so big the bike starts to turn i'm going to the left and then my left foot so i hit the ground and then i'm getting pulled forward right your whole body's going faster than your feet you can't move your feet that fast you're in no position to do that and then you go forward and you and then boom it cracked my ankle you can imagine the the force i mean I'm 225 pounds. I, I like laid there for a second. Like, and I, you know what? Sensitive song, cry guy. That's me. Sensitive song. Sure. Pain. No, never crying. No, I, I, you could take my finger. I could take my own finger and it wouldn't cry, but that's not going to happen. Universe that's out, out of the universe. But I always say I am always lucky and whether I crash or not, I get out of shit lucky. I got out of that lucky. Uh, I, I laid there for a second and I thought how bad my ankle and my big toe and everything hurt so bad. And then I, I jacked my knee up and, and I was in a lot of pain at first. And then I laid there and I do what I always do. And I was like, okay, let's assess the situation. And I start speaking words of faith to it. You know, like, I'm okay. I'm all right. No, it's all good. It's all good. The things feel folded up and talk it up right now, but they're fixing themselves right now. And I'm on it. I'm on my foot now. I do have some pain, but uh, it was a miracle, man. And I don't know what got me into that story, but this is caveman, dude. You got to take the good with the bad. And I'm working on getting some good, so please hang around until I get better at this. Oh, and let's say this. Happy 4th of... I don't need to do this, right? Unless you guys like to whisper. Hold on. Happy 4th of July. I hope you guys all get out. If you go to a party, have fun, get crazy, not too crazy. Um, be careful out there. Peace later. If you're watching this at night.